The next technique I'm going to be demonstrating is called the dragging strie technique. We'll teach you now how to choose paint colors to do this technique. To get the highest level of success when doing the dragging strie technique, you're going to want to choose your paint colors three to five shades apart. Now this is done using a base coat color and a top coat color, also known as a glaze color. In order to determine these colors, you first begin by taking a look at your fan deck and choosing a paint color that you think you want your end result to be. In this particular situation, I'm going to choose this color. What I'm going to do is go up two shades, one, two, and this will be my first color, which is my base coat color. Now this is applied in a satin finish paint. Now to determine what my glaze coat color will be, I will go back to my original color and drop down two shades, one, two. This will be my glaze coat color. So that's what we'll be using here for this demonstration. In order to do your faux finish, you will be using a glaze. A glaze is translucent paint that's designed to dry slowly. When you're using glazes to create your faux finish, you have two options. You can either buy pre-mixed glazes. Those are glazes that have color in them already. Or if you choose, want to customize a color to create a glaze, then you can do that. How this is done is by purchasing a gallon of faux glazing liquid and combining it with a quart of paint. The ratio is four parts glaze to one part paint. Put it together and mix it up and you have a glaze. So now that you've mixed up your glazes, we're ready to get the tools ready. So what we've done is we've mixed up our glaze here and we're going to begin by taking the glaze and pouring it right into the tray. Okay, now we're going to use a regular roller cover on a roller frame and saturate it with the glaze. We're going to use this to apply the glaze to the surface. It'll give us a nice, even application. Then, we're going to take the woolly and we're going to want to get rid of any lint. This is done with regular masking tape, wrapping it around your fingers, taking the sticky side out, and dragging it across the woolly, making sure that any lint is off of there. So with that, now we're ready to create the look. Now that everything's ready, let's go ahead and take our roller with our glaze on it, and I'm going to begin by applying the glaze with the roller on the surface. I'm going to make sure that my application is nice and even. I'm going to take the woolly and holding it in a horizontal position, I'm going to go up to the top and begin dragging through my glaze. And what it does is it creates a strie look. Now if you see, I've, I've, some of the glazes come onto the woolly. If you reach the bottom, you can take a rag, just wipe off the excess, and so it's ready to go again. Load up your roller with the glaze. Begin by rolling it from top to bottom. When you apply the glaze with the roller, apply it a little bit wider than the width of the woolly so that you've got an edge there that's kind of open. Then again, take the woolly and allowing it to overlap where you previously had done your dragging and drag it through. What the woolly does is there'll be areas where there, it's actually wider and thicker, and that's part of the look. That's very desirable. Taking the woolly, wiping off the excess glaze, and continuing all the way down the wall.
Well, this is our dragging striate look, and it looks great. You can stop right there and have a completely professional look. Or you can take it a step further, and that's to create the linen denim look. In order to do this, you want to allow this surface to dry completely. And then we'll go ahead and continue on with the following steps. To continue on to get the linen denim look, you need to have three panels all the way around the room. In order to do this, you need to have a level. And this is a tool that we use to get vertical lines. Take a pencil and you're going to mark every 36 inches. Then you're going to take the level and you're going to hold it on that mark, making sure that the bubble's center, and that's going to give you a perfectly level vertical line. And make a line going all the way down your wall. Now once we've made our marks every 36 inches on the wall, we'll go ahead and take blue low adhesion masking tape. What blue tape is, is it's tape that's designed specifically to go on walls that won't remove the pre-existing base coat colors. Now to continue this on, we'll go ahead and take the masking tape and apply an X every other section. This section that has no X on it, that's the section we're going to be working to create the linen denim look. So I'm going to tape on either side of the pencil marks that I've put on the wall, running completely from top to bottom. So I'm going to take my blue masking tape and tape on either side of the pencil marks that I've put on the wall. So what we've done here is we've applied the masking tape every 36 inches upon the wall. What we've also done is we took the masking tape and applied an X every other section. This section that has no X on it, that's the section we're going to be working to create the linen denim look. Now to continue this on, we are actually going to be creating the same type of look that we did to get the dragging strie look, except for this time we're going to move in a horizontal fashion. Again, we'll load up our roller with glaze and take the woolly and I'm going to apply my glaze in a horizontal pattern. Again, being conscious that our glaze is going on nice and even and smooth and we want to apply it in a wide enough area wider than the woolly. Then we're going to go ahead and take the woolly, and it's okay if you work left to right or right to left, whatever you're comfortable with, and you're going to drag through the woolly. Now you might create some wavering as you travel across the surface, but that's okay because linen and denim weaves actually do have a waver to them. When you get to the end, again, you take the woolly wipe off the excess glaze and continue on. Well now we've created this panel. And when we finish, we'll go ahead and lift, our, lift our, our masking tape. We're going to let this surface dry completely. When it's completely dry, we'll apply masking tape on this side of the pencil line and do the same look in panels all the way around the room. So, thank you for watching this instructional video on linen and denim, and have fun faux finishing. It just doesn't get any easier than this. <laughs>